after several challenge matches in Brazil, Grandmaster Elio Gracie found out that the best Japanese jiu-jitsu fighter ever, Masahiko Kimura, was gonna be in Brazil. So my grandfather challenged him to a match. Kimura said, listen, Elio, you're good, but not good enough to fight me. Instead, I'm gonna have you fight the number two Japanese jiu-jitsu fighter, a guy named Kato, and Kato will beat you just as easy as I would. My grandfather fought Kato and choked him out after six minutes. So with Kato rendered unconscious, the Japanese champ had no choice but to accept the challenge from my grandfather. The stage was set for an epic battle. They held the fight in Maracanã Stadium, nearly 200,000 occupants. It was the first time that a jiu-jitsu championship of the world would be fought outside of Japan. Kimura was so confident of victory, being that he was nearly 80 pounds heavier than my grandfather, he declared in the newspapers that if Elio Gracia could last for three minutes without giving up, that he should be declared the winner. The fight was set for two 10-minute rounds. Kimura got my grandfather and he threw him every which way you can imagine, like a rag doll. He was just too strong. But he couldn't finish my grandfather. He would go for the submission, my grandfather would defend, defend, which was his specialty, survival. And three or four minutes into the second round, my grandfather, of course, now is getting more exhausted. Kimura finally was able to capture my grandfather in a shoulder lock, which now bears his name, the Kimura. And my grandfather, stubborn as he was, uh, didn't want to tap out. Carlos, the older brother and, and manager figure, threw in the towel and, and forfeited the match to the Japanese champ. Speaking to my grandfather much later about the fight, I said, Grandpa, what did you think going into the fight? What was your mindset? He said, Henry, I never expected to beat this Japanese champ. I knew he was the best Japanese Jiu-Jitsu fighter in the world, and if I was gonna truly believe in what I do, I had to at least test it against that person given the opportunity. So he knew he was gonna lose in front of his whole country, but he still engaged. And that's the definition of a warrior. That's the definition of a fighter. That's the definition of a modern day samurai.